So it's all dark. You can't see nothing right now. It's all blacked out for a reason. Well, me personally, I do not appreciate what has been jumping off lately. It's ridiculous. You know, I do my videos. I mind my own business. And I speak for 40 minutes. And I tell people how I'm going to switch to Macintosh. And I tell my stories. I spoke for 40, I think it was 43, I wrote it down. 43 minutes, no, 41 minutes and 46 seconds. That's what I did in that last video yesterday. And now I'm doing this video blackface. So you think hard and you say what comes out your mind and you be for real about it. And I need my words to be placed out in their entirety. I don't want half of what I said to be out. I don't want a third of what I said to go out. I don't want just the points that fucking piss people off to go out. I want everything that I say to be heard. Because if I say something that's negative in the beginning of a video, you know it's always positive at the end. I don't like this, I don't like that, but this is why it could work. This sucks, that sucks, but this is why it can work. I don't like this person, I don't like that person, but I can work with these people. You'll hear all that I don't like, I don't like, but you can't hear the end of it. So I made a lot of complaints, and then I thanked a lot of people. I don't know exactly which part was cut off that last video, but, um, you know, I saw it once, and then the whole 41 minutes and something was on there. Then the next time I see it, it says 30-something. Um, I thanked Little Coco and Hitchcock. I thanked James the Butcher. James bought me my pills. Hitchcock and Little Coco got all my bandages and everything I needed. That's how that went down. You know, so I want to thank those people again because without them people, you know, let me show you one part of my body. And my stomach is also discolored. But without these folks, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Without these folks, it all would have looked like that. My whole body could have been like that. My whole face and everything. You can't really see it. It ain't that bad, but I can see it, you know, and, um, shoot, my face would be like that. It'd be dark, right? All this would be, as you can see a little bit, see the scar on the forehead, that right there is for, you know, the medicine not going on fast enough. And all this is darker than that. See right here where the mustache is not growing? That was a piece of meat missing out of there too. So thank you for those who helped out, those who were there for me. Thank you for those people who continue to help me now. Now, the White Army, this guy, um, he asked me a couple of weeks ago, told me I should do some Facebook or something. He was telling me. I forget. Maybe it was a month ago. I told him, go ahead and do it. Do it. So if you out there, and you know, you subscriber or you watch this show, you think you can help the show, do it. Whatever you think you can do to help our show, do it. Just do it. Oh, wait, it's copyright infringement. Can't say that. Just get it. No, can't say get it done either. Do what you got to do. So, you know, you want to help me, help me. If you don't want to help me, fine. Just keep continue to watch the videos and like them the way you like them. And don't like them if you don't like them. But do something. Check on the screen and comment. Um, I'm going to keep this one short because 
they give me the option to talk longer, but when I do it through this this way, it doesn't work. You know, uh, I can stop, and then I'll just shut the video off right there because they think I'm stopping, and I'm not stopping. I'll never stop. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and feature a video. It has nothing to do with me. A lot of people have been trying to get me to join the Blonde Paul bandwagon. It's kind of hard for me to jump on the Ron Paul bandwagon. After the racist newsletter came out, I'm like, it's just another one of them. See, if you allow people to say negativity in your behalf, and you let it go, you might as well be the person that wrote it. You might as well be the person that, you know, created it, especially if you sanctioned it. So you have to own up your mistakes, Mr. Paul. If you did it, you did it. If you didn't, you didn't. But it was under your name. Fess up, shut up, or get out. And I try to tell people that I would rather vote for Newt Gingrich than Barack Obama. And I'm going to explain why. Because you know what you're going to get with Newt Gingrich. You know how he thinks. You've seen him work. And when they put you in charge, you don't get to do what you want to do. We know what he wants to do, but we know what they're going to let him do because we knew what Obama wanted to do and we know exactly what they let him do. Makes sense. What is the lesser of two evils? Ron Paul, Barack Obama. What is it? I'm not even talking about Mitt Romney because when it comes out that he's a Mexican Mormon, he don't have a chance anyway. The last thing Americans want to see is a rich Hispanic President of the United States of America. That would be the most despicable, crazy thing that could ever happen to this racist nation. Is that all these people who don't like Mexicans to find out that their president is Mexican. Descent from Me Africa. Ooh, he can't be a president. His father's from Africa. What about all you racist motherfuckers out there? You got a nigger president, and now you go and might have a Mexican president. You don't like Obama, but you pushing for Romney. Why don't you go down to, uh, is it Romney, Mexico, what they call it, or whatever, where Romney's family's from in Mexico? Check the CNN story. The CNN story went down to Mexico and Romney's family was like, yes, we need a guest worker program so we won't have these problems. Do you think this rich snake baron is not going to exploit the people from his homeland? Just like every other rich, quote unquote, American has done in the past 35, 50 years, exploiting Mexico? and done everything they could to Mexico, but you ain't take the oil, did ya? You ain't take the oil. You ain't take the land. You don't take shit from Mexico. You take their people. You enslave their people. And now we're gonna have a Mexican president in America enslaving Mexican people. That's if he wins, but I doubt if he wins. Because there are so many Americans that have problems with Hispanic people that even if he came out and embraced his true ethnicity, he would lose. Because of all the negative things he'd done to his own people already. I don't want to talk about politics. I did what I said I would do. 
I removed all the videos from my page that have not been, um, what's the word I want to use, computer generated or edited. You got these ones that I'm doing now for the next month. You'll see the edited videos. I want your opinions. I want your ideas. And that's all I want. If there's anything else, I ask you for it. And there may be a time when I do. Thank you for your time. Well, I guess I'll call this one 10 minutes in time. No, I already did that. But um, this is not an episode of 40 minutes. I'm just complaining because the last episode of 40 minutes was cut short. If you notice... I probably do about a video a week or less. Or I, mean, I might get a hair up my nose. Ah, whoa! Had to pull it out and do four or five videos in a day. But other than that, I'm working on rebuilding a new system to where when I edit my videos and everything, they do not crash out or kill the computer or you know, slow the computer down by wasted space. Thank you for your time. Comment. I want you to comment. I want you to comment. I want you to turn on your voice recognition, your speech recognition. And I want you to talk into the bottom of my screen. Give me a damn paragraph of how you feel today. Let it out. How are you doing today? What is you know, on your mind about the political, poli the political system we have. The political, that was funny. Political. That's the, tell me. Now, I'm asking you, because a lot of people will watch my videos and, ex oh, that was a good video, it was a bad video, I hate you. Nigger. I want you, the people that watch the video, if you got speech recognition and it don't work too good, because look how, I, I, I don't like typing. I don't like spelling. I'll be honest. I don't like spelling nothing. N U T T I N. I don't like spelling. And when I talk, I don't have to spell anything. A M Y. You know what I mean. So, for those people who don't like typing, try your speech recognition. And when you say something, I normally do not ask people to type anything on the bottom of the page because a lot of people don't know what to say. So they just say, nigger, or fuck you, or you're an asshole. Instead of, wow, I really liked the video. They couldn't spell, I liked the video, but they can spell asshole, or fuck you. And you know, it's like, I really like that video. I can't type that. I can't spell, I really like that video. So let me go ahead and type, fuck you, nigger, on the bottom of it. Or I hate you, black man. Or, you know, are you drunk? I don't. I'm just tired of all of it. We live in one of those days and ages where shit stinks and we always step in it. So, hey, get your voice uh, recognition going on. Dictate something in a little box down there. And let's blow people's minds. Let's put some stuff out. You know, the thing is, we can have a conversation without being... Uh, racist, ignorant, uh, disrespectful. Um, you know, like I said, if you can't really type, and you know, you got that three or four word vocabulary like me, M E. You need to just turn on your speech recognition. If it don't spell the word right, fine. You go back in, and you'll figure it out. If you can't really spell it, the red line will squeal up on the bottom of your thing, and you'll just figure the words out like word search, and you got me. But let your feelings be known because if you don't let your feelings be known you'll just get another bullshit video that you don't like I won't talk about what interests you if you correspond with me I'll deal with you that's how this channel works so I don't know if people can leave me messages anymore because after all the racism I think I changed that but if not you can still leave me a personal message I think not, I'll go through and check that. Um, you got any uh, ideas about video programs I can use? Video rendering techniques that cut time? Put that on the bottom of there too. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's right. 
Tell me what's real. I might have to do that. Tell me what's up. Tell me what's right. Tell me what's real. I like that. I like that. I'll use that one. And for those who go back a long way, never forget you've been tubed.